You're going, I'm going. Are you going? So, you'll go. Okay. Okay. Great. Rock concert? I can't stand rock concerts. This is pure torture for me, honestly. It's so loud, you know? But it's a nightclub. It's not even going to be places to sit. Exactly. And we're going to have to go backstage and pretend that we liked it. And uh, it's hot. Who oh, needs that? Jeez. Serve Your Enthusiasm is set to return for a 12th season. Jeff Garland stars alongside Larry David, of course, and he's back in town for this weekend Chicago Humanities Festival. And he's with us. Tell us all about it. Jeff, how you doing? Hi. Oh, no, I'm seeing myself. I do look like I just woke up. Yeah. No. It's all right. So it's no, but fine. I'm good with it. Yeah. I'm a human being. I wake up like <laughs> others. Why would I be upset about it? Yeah. I'm good with waking up. We all wake up. Yeah. I'm not embarrassed to say no. I wake up hey, too. You look yeah, great. Yeah. This I, doesn't I happen. I don't look great. No. I, I, I look like I look. <laughs> so, and you're happy that I come in. It's like, oh, I'm Jeff still looks like Jeff. I'm happy to be here. Well, How this, are you? This takes a lot I'm, of frosting uh, for him. Yeah. A lot yeah. of frosting? Yeah. It doesn't, By the way, what yeah. if I came in with frosting on It'd my be nice. face and was mistaken? Trying to look like you. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I forgot what you asked me. How are you? Oh, I, I'm great. I'm happy to be here in the uh, land of Chicago. Well, we haven't seen you since you departed the Goldbergs, yes. and then you have been very vocal about some struggles you've had recently. Yes, I have. But what's funny is I, I wrote them because that's what I was feeling, not because I, like, I turned comments off on uh -huh. my Instagram. And um, I just like, oh, this is the way I'm feeling. And I described, I, I went through some stuff. I'm bipolar, I discovered last year. I was suicidal last year, not this year. This year, no suicidal Good. thoughts. Good. Um, and uh, yeah, my mental health, I, I've worked hard since December. Uh, at one point, I was having therapy seven times a week. Wow. Yeah, different types of therapy. Now I'm down to three and I'm excited. Who the hell is excited with three <laughs> times a week? What did you learn through all that? That um, oatmeal's good in the morning. <laughs> really? No. That's it. You start no. the day right. off right. No, by the way, none of those did I learn of. Um, I don't think it was anything that I learned in particular. I just evolved mm -hmm. and evolved and created myself a solid place to work from. Mm -hmm. It's just, to, you get to a point, too, where it's just having someone that can listen to, just listen to you. Boy, it's, I'm working it's nice. on it. Yeah, I, but I, I was at a, a place. So short, I went to a place called the Lindor Center in Cincinnati, and in the middle of winter, eh? <laughs> um, I didn't stay in LA. Um, and when I was there, they were wonderful, and they helped me get back up on my feet. But when I was there, I thought I'd never smile again, let alone mm. perform again. Mm. And I start filming Curb Your Enthusiasm next week, and I'm nice. thrilled, and I'm feeling great. And Good. by the way, as I went through all this stuff, Larry yeah. David could not have been more supportive. And, and Susie was my rock through mm. all of us. Who pays your wife on Curb. Plays my wife, Susie Essman, yes. yes. Thank you, clarifying. Yeah. I assume that everyone watches <laughs> yes. it. Everyone <laughs> watches it. Who misses an episode? I, I see myself profile, oh, they're straight on. That's straight on. That's the one. It's all odd right. to reconcile that Susie Essman, who plays this screeching woman, is this well, sweet woman who's, who well, you're very close to. I'm going to reveal something yeah. I've never revealed. When I was suicidal, I called her. Really? Yeah, so that gives you an idea of what Aww. you see yeah. and what is. And I, I would burst out crying and said, I'm reaching out for help. I have children, I know, but I'll be dead this afternoon. Oh, gosh. And she, of course, she called my former wife and my current girlfriend who teamed up and helped me. Um, here's the thing. Yeah. And this is the thing that if I want to impart anything, mm -hmm. reach out. Yeah. Yes. Reach out. Yeah. That's, that's all you have to do. I reached out, and that was... It started the dominoes in a yeah. good direction. Yes. So reach out is all I have to say. And so I'm done. Good. So That's when you're done talking to you, yes. reach out. I've said my message. Don't bother going to the Chicago Humanities Festival <laughs> because all I'm going to say is reach out. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And now you and Susie, are you doing a, is it a radio show you're doing about oh, her? Oh, you heard about that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're doing a podcast, yeah. The History of Curb Your Enthusiasm. iHeartRadio signed us up to That's do great. that. It, I guess it is. Yeah. What no, it? the reason being is. <laughs> like I 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Let me. Let Don't me oversell it. No, no. But look, people will want. It'll be funny, and I'll have a good time doing it. But the thought of rewatching yeah. over a hundred episodes of Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> now, to everyone there, that seems like well, that would be fun. To me, I experienced yeah. it all. I, I, you know, sometimes I don't even watch episodes. Yeah. I get the cuts yeah. as we go along in, in editing, and uh, you know, I give notes. Yeah. Some are listened to, some are not. Uh, but that being said, to watch it all again is yeah. the watching is going to be the painful part. Is it, Doing the podcast delightful. Yeah. Do you? Is it watching a whole episode the time, or is it you don't like watching yourself? Uh, big bowl of both. <laughs> <laughs> big bowl of both. First off, at the beginning. Well, not the first hour, but the uh, the um, the start of the season. I had just had a stroke. Oh my God! Yeah, I've had a lot, a lot of things, yeah. a lot of adversity. So I I had just had the stroke. So to watch myself during mm -hmm. that first season be strokey <laughs> is very unsettling. Wait, yeah. you noticed the signs of? Oh, I no, I had a stroke oh, before. Oh, okay. Between the hour special, or hour pilot, and the season, I had a stroke. Oh my huh. God! Didn't know if I. For a while, I had talked in you know silly ways and silly ways. Yeah, but I you couldn't didn't. talk, and I also carried a golf club as instead of a cane because uh. I thought a golf club would be funnier. <laughs> and, and then I recovered, and I think curb your enthusiasm helped me recover, you know, yeah. because it was constant exercise. But I had trouble talking in scenes. Wow. Really trouble. What yeah. else are you working on? Are you working on a movie? I thought I heard about. Oh, I did a movie uh, called Babylon with Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. Oh, and just a Brad out. Pitt movie. Yeah. You and Brad Pitt hang. You guys have the same. No, but we really. I, yeah. asked, I if he based on how he acts towards me, I think he really likes me, and I like him, and we had some nice conversations. Two By hot the way, guys hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Hot, but he is a really <laughs> delightful man. He is. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've met him quite a few times, but working with him, he's delightful. And by the way, Margot Robbie, as beautiful as she is, that doesn't even compare to what kind of person she is. Really? It's great. Oh, my God, yes. I mean, the nicest, the best. Well, next time you come through, bring both of them with. They've I, never I, been here. By I don't the know why. We can't get them in. Well, by the way, if they had the time, <laughs> I think sure. that yeah. if they're in Chicago, <laughs> by the way, if they were to ask me, I would say if you're in Chicago, please do WGN's yes, morning show. There right. we go. Thank yeah. you. By hey. the you know, yeah. but I'm always here. Uh, you are always my here. You are. By my, my publicity tour on this, <laughs> it's over. Yeah. <laughs> You, over. You've inspired a great WGM Morning News campaign. As Jeff Garland says, WGM Morning News, that's all right. <laughs> no, it's it's pretty great. I mean, <laughs> you know what I do besides this one? I would do WBEZ yeah. if, if, yeah. if, if it works out, and I do a Chicago Tonight. Yeah. yeah. But no viewers yeah. of Chicago Tonight. I'm doing it just because I enjoy it. They're very kind. Well, because yeah, you know nice those people. viewers are watching us. They're a lot smarter than than the you know. Than why we would are. you do? Why would you dig? <laughs> what reason would you, you have to do? You the audience. No, no why would you dig yourself a hole? Because it's W T W. W G G N. The smartest people in Chicago yes. watch W G N. That's right. All right. All right. That's you. all I'm saying. Yeah. And he'll tell Everyone you. watching is smart. <laughs> Every one of you is smart. Don't let them say their crap. How dare they? Robin is so wrong. So she's never been more wrong in her life. In her life, I tell you. I don't know why I'm yelling. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. Now it's sideways. I'll point at you, Robin. Yeah, well, we're the dummies, But you never the pointed viewers. a woman. Hey, you, you, can, you can check out Jeff this Saturday at the Chicago Humanities Festival at Northwestern University's Khan Auditorium. There's the info on your screen. Jeff, good to see you. Glad you're doing Humanities well. Humanities.org. I'd love to have that for my, uh, uh, you know, website. Yeah, yeah. sure. Absolutely. I am. I am humanities. Yes, you are. I am human. And I am humanity. There you go. And sweetness. And sweetness. Walter Payton. <laughs> Chicago. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, Paul. Sure. Hey, Paul.